All right, so judging by the title and probably a somewhat decent thumbnail, um, today's video is about yo-yos. It's National Yo-Yo Day, which I didn't really realize was a thing. So the interesting thing about yo-yos is, as far as I know, you have like three types. You have ones that look like this butterfly shape that have like uh, to do like tricks and stuff, I guess. Then you have ones that are just like uh, this, like this uh, fireball that uh, it's just like a normal default yo-yo. And then you have like the Yomega Brain, which is an automatic yo-yo. There's actually a childhood interest of why I'm doing this video, believe it or not. And that is because of the Omega Brain here. Now I had one of these as a kid, but the one thing I noticed is, if I'm not mistaken, when you throw this down, it causes these little spring things to push out. And then when it slows down, it pushes in, which causes the yo-yo to come up. Now, obviously being a kid, um, I didn't understand that. But now that I'm not in the fifth grade and I'm uh, an adult pretty much, and I have a high-speed camera, we're going to take a closer look, hopefully, at these, uh, these bearings and these spring parts to see what actually happens. If I had to guess, it's all based about friction and speed. But my theory is, is that when the yo-yo is thrown at a high velocity, or, you know, just thrown in general really hard, um, it causes that bearing to vibrate, which then causes the spring things to open up. And as it slows down, it clamps, which causes the yo-yo then to shoot up. I think for starters though, we're just gonna do the normal fireball. No, not the drink, but you know, might as well look at it, see what it looks like. Try it at a thousand frames, and then if we need to go lower, we'll go lower. And of course, if you haven't watched this by now, the footage is gonna be shot on the Kronos 2.1 HD. So if you're wondering how I'm actually going to film this entire thing, it's uh, one of those setups. It's one light here, one light here that isn't on, and then the Kronos is on the floor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick the yo-yo, walk in, do the thing, and flick it back up. All right, now before I start, there's a one little thing I wanna do real quick. And like, I just don't feel like I look like I should be throwing yo-yos. Wow, that was pretty good. In Kirby Superstar Ultra, there was a character named Gim, G-I-M. Kirby sucked him up and ate him and got his ability. It was just Kirby with a backwards baseball cap. And that's why like I, the first thing that comes to my mind is somebody throwing yo-yos is somebody with a backwards baseball cap. Goal of the video, don't hit the camera. Oh, am I just blocking the whole thing? Is this what you're gonna see my back when I review the footage? That's that's probably great. I gotta like lay down to look at this because I don't want to adjust the focus. Okay, well, I was a little bit off my own mark. That's fine. Oh wait, no, I wasn't. Oh, that actually kind of looks cool. I actually see it rather smoothly going up. I have to change the shutter speed so there's not as much motion blur. So I just cut the shutter speed from 180 to 90. Man, it smells like fire over here. I'm gonna have to use these markings to know when I'm in the middle of frame and when I'm out. That should be good. Oh, oh okay, here we go. Oh, I got it. When I first did this, I did not anticipate just getting the yo-yo in frame up close to be this hard. So I was right. It looks like it may have something. To, oh man, that looks, it looks so smooth when you throw it down. But this is just showing the thing wobble like crazy. Now I could have been a crooked throw, but I mean, changing, changing the shutter speed was definitely a good idea though, because you can see more of the word fireball. All right, though that it looks like some elementary art student has just randomly put pieces of tape there. This is pretty much my general area of framing where I need to get the yo-yo. Now, oddly enough, the automatic yo-yo, I mean, it's gonna be hard to see in the dark, but it has two sides. It has the bearing side and then just the, the brain side. Here we go. It does vibrate a it does vibrate a little bit at the end as well. So that makes me do believe it has something to do with vibration. Can't even tell what's happening. Whew. I got it. Oh look at that. I mean you can definitely start to see it slow down. Oh look at the string. Oh, it's like <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, uh I didn't see much of anything. So, I think we I think we gotta go a little bit slower. All right, so now if you look, you'll see a thing that I like to call 
fire hazard. Um, this is not how you should obviously be operating a very hot, high-powered light is uh, being held by duct tape on a carpet. Uh, I need the light lower and to just pretty much be as close to the yo-yo as I can. These things are actually so much faster that instead of just going to 2200 frames, I actually just skip to 5500. And honestly, that might not even be fast enough to see actually what's happening. The good news is, because mostly this light and the fact that I switched to a wider lens, I can actually still keep my uh, 90 degree shutter. So uh, should actually still be able to see some detail happening in the uh, in the bearing spring area. Did I get it? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's been like 30 minutes. I'm hot, I'm tired. I got it. Oh my God. Oh my God, I didn't think I was gonna get it. Look at it. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I can't tell. I think it's actually doing what I'm suggesting it's doing, but it's going so fast. I can see it looks like the bearing like bouncing inside as well. Yeah, really, it's just really weird. Like when it goes up, it just gets more wobbly and wobbly. I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect that. I didn't, I didn't expect this to be an issue where like a yo-yo, like a yo-yo is too fast. Ugh, all right, so I have no idea if I can even handle 24,000 frames, but I can handle 10,000. So hopefully I should be able to get something. That looked good. I just quickly scrub through it and nailed it. Oh, I can't do like the pointer guns. Okay, let's see how this looks. <gasps> I think I was right. The the purple part, the, 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 the spring part. Oh no, that's totally separated, yeah. So I think I was right. The friction or the force of that thing is causing the purple thing to like open and close. I was right actually. That's amazing. And eventually when there's not enough momentum, I'm going to guess they both just close and it just shoots up because it connects. From what I'm seeing. So these purple things, these bouncers with the springs, when this has a lot of vibration, these seem to like fan out a little bit. And when it comes to the speed slowing down, these appear to, because like there's so much friction going on, these push together, tighten it, and then that uh, sudden halt causes the yo-yo to pull back up. This is just what I'm seeing on the slow-mo. So you can see these bumpers are practically just kind of just touching here and this base. But in the slow-mo, we see this like is it more separated. There it definitely looks like to be some separation of some sort because it looks like this little nub here hits this thing a little bit and then this lips away and vice versa. But judging by these like bearings and these little bumper things, it definitely looks like that that's the case. I will say this again, just by judging by the footage I have, that's what it looks like it's happening. If I'm wrong, eh, I tried. But if I'm right, then all right, cool, I win. So of course, now to celebrate National Yo-Yo Day, uh, please enjoy this high-speed 1080p footage of me doing some yo-yo tricks, probably okay slash Porsche in slow motion. <laughs> 